May the Lord help us to always abide to his word in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to share uh, my revelation on uh, how I missed the rapture, two of the rapture, and the reason why I missed it. One of them is for improper dressing. One of them is for uh, letting a man to visit me while I'm alone in the house. God doesn't like all those things. But this is a thing we overlooked in this Christian race. You know, there are lots we, 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 we need to learn on this narrow way. In fact, we are not learning enough. As the day goes by, as that God keep on revealing things and we keep on knowing them uh, one after the other. Uh, just like we saw in uh, God telling Abraham that walk with me and be perfect. Walk with me and be perfect. God said to Abraham, walk with me and be perfect. The Lord perfect us. As we continue to abide to his word, we will be perfect in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Uh, the one of the revelation I saw was that I missed the rapture uh, for letting a man uh, to visit me uh, while I, will, I was alone in the house. Okay, so this was what happened. I didn't know that uh, visiting, allowing a single brother or a brother to come to my house alone uh, is a sin. And I did not also know that as a sister going to visit another brother uh, alone without getting one or two persons accompanying me to that brother house is a sin before God. I didn't know that God was looking at this thing. So I was just doing it ignorantly uh, because I didn't know. Uh, sometimes some brothers come to me. Uh, sometimes some will say, Kate, I just pass. I say, let me greet you. And they will come to my house. And after they finish, we talk and we pray together. We go with free mind. I don't believe anybody is thinking uh, evil in his or her heart or me or either the other person. So I see it as a normal thing. After all, it's a brother in the Lord that knows the Lord. So maybe my evangelism partner. So I just overlook those things. I don't take them serious. But God was looking at those things very, very seriously. Uh, but I don't know. So he continued on and on and on until I had this revelation where I saw that my pastor came and visited me in this dream. Uh, when my pastor visited me as he was going, so I said, okay, let me walk him. Uh, let me walk, walk him out. While we were going out, not too far from uh, my house, then I discovered that my neighbors, the people around that area, there were so many. I saw all of them. They were just sitting outside and they were looking at us. And I saw in that dream that uh, they began to talk about us. And this was what they were saying, that look at them, look at them. This is what they do. They go to sleep with themselves. At the end, they will carry a phone and begin to preach, telling people, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication. But they themselves, they are doing it with themselves. Can you not see? Look at that sister that is here preaching the gospel. Look at her with that man. So these are suspicion that comes to their mind. But for me, as I saw this thing, I was supposed to, uh, to change but I did not take it serious. I was still allowing a single brother to visit me. So I got this warning. I didn't stop, I continued. Until one day, uh, this, until that night, I saw a rapture took place and a brother visited me. And this brother was sitting in my room. Suddenly I saw the cloud changing. I don't know what was going on, but automatically, uh, there was a message that drove into my heart and that the rapture is about to take place. Then I just remember that God had been having warning for not letting uh, a brother to come alone and visit me while I was alone in my house. So I was dragging this brother, I was dragging him that he should come and leave my house. But the brother refused to go. The brother refused to go. Suddenly the trumpet sound. And when the trumpet sound, why, what happened? I missed the rapture. So as I missed the rapture, I started crying and lamenting. And immediately I knew in that dream that I missed the rapture. 
because I allow a single brother to come to the house to visit me. Beloved, just like the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 2, uh, verse number 22, he said, God doesn't like suspicion in our life as children of God. He doesn't want people to suspect us. God loves us with a kind of love of jealousy. The Bible made us to know in the book of Isaiah 42, verse number 8, that our God is a jealous God. Look at it in Romans 2, verse number 22. He said, Thou that sayest, a man should not commit adultery. Does that commit adultery? We tell people thou shalt not commit adultery. We tell people thou shalt not commit fornication. We tell people the things they shouldn't do while we are preaching. And we are supposed to be living like a light so that they will be seeing the truth that we are preaching in our life and learning from us day by day. But the same way that go out to preach, we still give them uh, an occasion to think evil about us. Okay, now I'm preaching, my neighbors are seeing me, and some of them even love the way I preach. They're always like, ah, madam, you are trying, ah, sister, you are trying, you know, all those things. And those same people, uh, they don't know what is going on between, in my room, they don't know what is going on between two of us. As long as they have seen a man enter the room, and they know the sister is staying alone, uh, she's staying alone in her room, and the brother is walking alone, what comes to their mind? God loves us. He doesn't want suspicion in the life of his children. So those people will begin to suspect that both of you are having uh, maybe kind of funny relationship with yourself that they don't know because they are not in there with you to know what is going on. So God doesn't want this thing to continue. That's the reason why when he gave me warning, I would have taken that warning and I wouldn't have allowed any brother to come to my house. But I didn't stop. That means I did not take the warning. I did not stop. Maybe you're listening to me now. God has been warning you on this thing. And you're not taking it. You see? So these things are not good. And again, one thing I want to let us know is that uh, just like the Bible says, we should guide our heart for there are the issues of life. I may not know the brother heart. The brother may not know my mind. I may know myself. Because, you know, sometimes uh, sisters have stayed like this. Some have stayed 10 years. Some have stayed 15 years. And they have not been sleeping with the man. And sometimes when two of them have come together like this, the devil is trickish. That is when the devil will poison the heart of that brother, will poison the heart of that sister. Sometimes something they have may happen. And the cause of you coming together, depend and, and at times as you are coming together, something may take place that you may not understand. You didn't expect, you didn't plan. There was a sister that called me and told me, I, I am one of one, one brother that we used to go out for evangelism, or a brother like that. He even called, she even called the guy a brother. She called the guy a brother, which means they are close. They have been going to church together. But she said, uh, while the brother was coming to a house daily, they, 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 they fall in love with themselves and they slept with each other. They committed immorality. And these are things God is, is trying to prevent from us. We may not understand, we may think we know it all, we are superwoman, we are superman. Look, in this aspect, nobody is a superman, nobody is a superwoman. You may know yourself, but devil is not resting. Devil is not resting. That's why the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse number 7, he said, be sober, be vigilant. Be sober, be vigilant. Be watchful. Because the adversary, the devil, is walking like a roaring lion, looking for whom to devour. The devil is not tired. He's not tired of fighting. So why do you allow a single brother to come to your house? Do you know how hungry the brother may be concerning that part, that aspect? Do you know how sis that sister may be desiring something like that? You don't even have an idea. But both of you, the more you come together, something may happen because devil will always look for occasion to put a stumbling block. Why two of you may fall? So please, brethren in the Lord, uh, whenever you're watching me, if you are still a single brother and you, you maybe you're going out with a single sister, please don't visit that single sister alone. When you want to visit a single sister, go with another a brother and you a sister you want to pay a single brother visit go with another person and if you're a married man you want to visit a sister who you know is staying alone go with your wife
If you don't have a wife, go with another brother. Both of you should go and pay the sister a visit because God is not happy with this thing. He doesn't want occasion where we allow people to suspect us. He doesn't want it. He's a jealous God. When people begin to suspect us, it affects it affect the scripture. It affects the work of God that you are doing. It affects the work of God that me, I am doing. You know, like he said, like the scripture I read in Romans 2 verse number 22. That you, the instructor uh, of a teacher, they, 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 you that preach and tell people, uh, thou shall not commit adultery. Do you commit adultery yourself? You see? By the time people begin to see you that you preach adultery, or you are committing adultery. It's wrong. It's wrong. Like, you know, maybe thou shall not steal. And you are keeping a friend who is a thief. And everybody knows that this friend is a thief. And you are moving with these people, with this particular friend. What will people say when they see you and this person? We need to be careful. God is not happy about this thing. But these are things we continue to do always. And God is angry about it. Please, may we take heed so that we don't miss the rapture in Rhea. The Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. So the second one I said I was going to share, I miss the rapture again for improper dressing. So in this relation, I wear uh, a tube gown. For those of you who know tube gown, that gown you wear inside, it's a long guy, it may be a long guy, it may be a long top, uh, but it doesn't have a hand. It's just like a skirt that you draw uh, to your chest. Then you will now use something like a jacket to cover it. God doesn't like such dressing. I want you to listen, my sisters in the Lord. Many of you are wearing like this. Uh, you like wearing it. You buy a tube gown, you wear, you carry another cloth, you fly it. If you want to wear a tube gown like that, what you do, uh, to me, I feel... You wear something that will cover it very, very well. You don't need to move like that and fly it like this. You have put jacket uh, that is a tube inside. It doesn't have a hand. And the next thing you do, you look for a jacket and wear on top this tube. Uh, and you are moving and you are good to go. God doesn't like it. As well as wearing maybe the thing is handless inside. And you wear uh, a jacket on top of it. You know, it might make you to miss the rapture. God showed me I missed the rapture. I wore it. I was in my own revelation that I saw. I wasn't even going far. I just wore the gun, the tube inside, and I looked for a jacket to wear. I did not button it. I just moved like that. Casually, I carried my waist uh, being. I was going to dump it at the refuse, uh, this thing container, uh, not too far from my house. And the trumpet sound, and I missed it. Even though I wore it, I was not going too far. I was just moving from my house to just maybe one or two kilometers away from where I'm staying and I missed the rapture. Can you see that? What if you are wearing it to church? You are wearing like that outside your office, your markets, you are going everywhere with it. Tell me how will God feel about it? So we should take this thing serious. This is a short warning that God gave me. I said, let me share it with us. I know it's going to help many people, and I know many will still be adamant and will continue to do it. I pray that day does not catch us unaware because we are children of light, walking on the narrow path in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless us as we continue uh, to strive and to take it all to all this warning in the name of Jesus. Christ.